Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you uh, how easily you can create an EMR serverless cluster in literally minutes we are talking about. So here we are going to create an EMR 7.1.0 cluster uh, of course with Spark and then I want to show you how easily in matter of minutes you can submit a hoodie Spark job. So the goal is to make the integration guide easy for anybody who wants to adopt EMR and um, of course hoodie and Spark. So without wasting any further time, let's get straight into action. All right. All right. So probably you're seeing my AWS management console. Uh, click on create application. Uh, give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to say Spark cluster one. Type can be Spark and the version will use EMR 7.1.0. Rest everything, just leave it to default and then click on create and start application. I already have a cluster over here. As you can see, that is in the starting stage. This is the application ID over here, okay? So now, once you have created an EMR serverless cluster, now let's uh, take a look at the, the next process. So, oh yeah, all right. So on your computer, create a Python uh, file called hoodie underscore job dot py. Very simple file. We are gonna create a Spark session, nothing fancy here. This is the path where we are gonna build our hoodie data lake. Again, this is a simple hello world, okay? We create a data frame object on line number 35. We define all the hoodie settings, you know, primary key, precom key, partition path, and of course the settings for hive sync. Hive sync meaning you want to sync the data with glue hive metastore, right? So these are the settings. And then guess what? Just simple, like, right? right? We are just overwriting the data into the data lake. So simple, again, very, very simple Python code, nothing really fancy. Now, once you're done with that, don't worry about all these credentials. I'll be destroying that. Now we need to upload this into S3. So we're going to use a command AWS S3 CP. CP stands for copy. I want to copy this particular Python file into this particular uh, S3 path. Okay. So let me see if I have my terminal opened up. Uh, actually, I did have one. So I'm just going to bring this terminal into the, my main console. All right. All right. So uh, let me first make sure ls, uh, here you can see I have my file, hoodie job, and then I'm just gonna run the shell command. This will upload the file to S3. Great, right? So you have a Python file or Spark, Spark code that you wrote or your developer or anybody wrote, and then you upload that to S3. Now you have your EMR serverless cluster ready. Now, oh, easy, right? We just have to submit, okay. All right, so what you wanna do, uh, hopefully you guys are seeing my screen. Copy the application ID. Application ID is this ID over here, okay? Copy that. How do you get it? Again, if, you're, if you do not have access to console, you can simply say EMR, AWS EMR serverless list application. And if you do that, here, right? You can see, right? This is the ID, right? So those are the ways in which you can get, get it. And then of course, uh, we are going to export these environment variable, application ID, the bucket, which we are going to use for our data lake and the IAM role. So let me quickly paste this. Done. 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 All right. So I got that. And now guess what? I just have to submit the job, right? So simple job. Again, AWS EMR serverless start job run. We provide the application ID, we provide the IAM role. And then this is, I think this is important and I think rest is easy, right? This is the path to that Python PySpark job on S3, right? Here you can see the bucket name is a placeholder, right? And then uh, Spark submit parameters, I'm providing um, this particular uh, jar path, spark.jars user lib hoodie hoodie spark bundle jar. So on EMR, this is the path where you will find that particular jar file, right? So we're gonna use that jar. And then again, we just said, uh, you know, spark serializer to org.apache.spark.serializer to cryo serializer. And yeah, that's it, man, you know, so easy. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna submit the job in a second. Make sure this is in the starting or started state. Okay, looks good. All right, so I'm gonna submit the job. Here you can see uh, I got a response, meaning the job was submitted. If I go to EMR serverless, here you can see that particular job. So let's refresh. Just gonna click on this job. So here you can see that job is now in the scheduled state. So let's refresh. 
so soon this job is gonna be in the pending and then starting stage and once this is complete i'll resume the video because you know it's gonna take a little while right so i'm gonna pause the video right here and i'm gonna resume once this job has completed now this job is in the running state as you may see on my console so again this will take about a couple of seconds and also you have the ability to see the logs so here if you click on driver logs and stdr so in case if you if there's any error you will see that error over here okay so i just want to point out that so again at this point my job is simply running so i'm just gonna have a cu cup of coffee and probably resume the video once this is complete all right so that job is complete right as you can see success and let's head over to s3 here you can see all the partition and of course these are hive style partition and with your parquet files you can go to athena you will see a table called hoodie people over here let's come and do preview table and of course you can also run standard uh, sql queries over here so yeah it's literally that easy it's um, that easy to create an emr serverless cluster in literally in minutes and then submit a simple spark job hoodie spark job which will build your uh, you know data lake so I hope you have enjoyed the return guide is also on my LinkedIn in case if you need those steps and if you need to refer to the code snippets, they are there on my LinkedIn and GitHub. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Keep smiling, keep programming and I will see you in the next video.